Hello, people of Surf and Nerf, and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I figured I would just do my thoughts on the a series of unfortunate events movie. So, you don't know, there was a movie released in 2004 with uh, Jim Carrey in it, based off of the first uh, three books of the series of unfortunate events series by Lemony Snicket, a.k.a. Daniel Handler. Now, for reference, I have technically read the first eight books but i have read the first three for sure um and uh here it's just a quick review of the movie so i think i saw this movie a couple of years ago i think i was like maybe 12 or 13 and i thought i would break it down a little so a little quick review so um if you don't know it's so it's basically it's around you know uh three children the Baudelaire orphans violet klaus and sunny and, you know, they lose their parents in their home in a terrible fire, and they're sent to live in Mr. Poe, the banker who's in charge of their affairs. The ex ex executor of the parents' will puts place them in the care of Count Olaf, the, an actor who uh, doesn't treat them very well. And uh, Count Olaf, in the books, if I remember very clearly, was very, like, scary. I read those books when I was 10, and they scared me as a 10-year-old. I was like, Ooh, like... That's just probably a reenactment of what was going on in my brain at the time. Um, Tom Wolf was played by Jim Carrey. Now, Jim Carrey is a great actor, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if he can entirely do intimidating roles. It depends. Like, in this, let's like, put Jim Carrey as Tom Wolf, and I do think he worked sort of. Like, Tom Wolf is a lot scarier in the books, and obviously, if you encapture that entirely in a kid's movie, I think he would actually be too scary. But you gotta encapture some of it, and I don't know, Jim Carrey would just make Count Olaf a little more, I guess, goofy than he was in the books. Now, as for the plot of the movie, I mean, you have to base it off the plot of the books. It was actually different than the plot of the books. They put events in the bad beginning after events in the wide window in the reptile room, and they switched it around a little, which is fine, because, you know, for a movie, you can't just have it be exactly like the book. That would be boring. That didn't really, that doesn't really bother me that much. It is a little interesting, but how they did it, so that's okay. In terms of the acting, I think it was pretty good. Whoever played the children, um, they were those actors were you know they they did a pretty good job. I think Jim Carrey did a good job as Count Olaf, maybe making him a little bit too goofy, but honestly, not much better or worse than the Neil Patrick Harris Count Olaf, which also made him look like a goofy idiot. But in reality, he's a lot smarter than they play him out to be. But I think, you know, everything about the production was pretty good. It was just a couple of things here and there, you know, maybe that could have had some tweaking in just how, I guess, something, a particular scene was done. I think Count Olaf, to really portray him correctly, he has to be a little bit goofy just because he, he can't be that scary. I mean, The Reptile Room is the most, second book, is like the most notable example. I still remember reading that as a 10-year-old, and I was terrified. And you do have to encapture that a little more, and I feel like the, the same mistake was made with the show, which I'll have to go over in another episode. Um, but this is, isn't that they didn't fully, they didn't capture it as much as they could have, but it's okay, because Count Olaf's scariness is not entirely the point of the uh, series. You know, it's about unfortunate events. But, yeah. So, um, I hope that you found this review helpful. Um, and... You know, I, I, would I recommend watching the movie? Yes, I think it's, um, I think it's a good movie. It's funny, but it does sort of encapsulate that the feel of the books, though. Yeah, I do feel like that is also there. Anyways, I hope that you all have a great rest of your day, and please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want. Bye.